In this video, I want to introduce you to var of x. Now, if this was a frequency table, you could work out the variance. You've seen the calculation in the A-level maths videos um, for uh, deriving the variance formula, and hence deriving standard deviation. Um, if you do that, you get you can derive this process here. So instead of frequencies, we've got probabilities. Um, and what you can show is that the variance of x, so we write that as var of x, is equal to the expected value of x squared take away the expected value of x all squared. Now, this will look a little bit strange to start off with, um, but I will explain what we mean by these two things. So we've got e of x, first of all. That we recognise, we've seen that already in the videos. e of x squared, however, we have not seen. e of x squared is the sum of r squared times the probability of x being equal to r. So what happens is that each of your r values get squared before they get multiplied by their respective probabilities. And here we've got the sum of r times probability of x being equal to r, all squared. So that's what it looks like longhand. OK, so let's calculate this for this uh, probability distribution here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to work out e of x. So e of x is 3 times 0 0.1 plus 5 times 0 0.7 plus 7 times 0 0.2. So 3 lots of 0 0.1, 5 lots of 0 0.7, and 7 lots of 0 0.2 added together, and we get 5.2. OK. So then... E of x squared is 3 squared times 0 0.1 plus 5 squared times 0 0.7 plus 7 squared times 0 0.2. So 9 lots of 0 0.1 plus 25 lots of 0 0.7 plus 49 lots of 0 0.2. And we get 28.2. Then var of x is equal to the e of x squared, so 28.2. Take away e of x, all squared, so take away the 5.2 squared. And that gets me 1.16. And so that is var of x. And that's how we can calculate it. Now, if the question asks us to find standard deviation, then I just need to square root that. Okay? So that is var of x and how it is calculated.